<laughs> and we are live, folks. Welcome to the Sit Down Standard, the podcast celebrating all the amazing things you can do while sitting, whether it's enjoying movies, watching television, or playing games. I am one of your hosts, David Bray. I'm joined, as always, by Gerald Bills. Hi. And Jordan Peterson. That's a Mr. Jordan Peterson to you. Um, and <laughs> I'm going to keep doing that forever. I know, that's I know. New, that's my sign-in. <laughs> um, before we... You're new? You've been doing it since episode one. It's yeah. not new. The show's new. Okay, this show. This is the, the this first... This is the first time I've done it on a show. You know, my other shows, I didn't do that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, uh, we always want to tell everybody, if you're listening to the audio version of our podcast, go to YouTube. We do um, video versions of our podcast. We also broadcast the podcast live on Periscope, so follow mm-hmm. us on Twitter so you can watch us live, mm-hmm. see all of our liveness. So you have to have Twitter to use Periscope. Well, that's, it, that's like the... The adult part, you know, the, live, the, the backstage. After dark podcast. Exactly. <laughs> but we do it before. <laughs> All right. Uh, well, let's move into the first thing that we always do every week. I think Gerald's got a special instrument. Oh, yeah. Ready? Ready? Here we go. What you doing? What you doing? What you doing? <laughs> da, 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 da. Wow. <laughs> so no, we, but it's okay. We're never going to do that I again. Pra- we just got to do I it I missed once. practice. I'm sorry, guys. I had no idea that was going to happen. We invited you to the kazoo practice. Yeah. All right, let's start with Gerald. Gerald, what you doing? Um, a little bit this week, a little bit. Uh, worked from uh, California for the whole week on an abysmal one meg of internet connection, so not really much I can do with that. I uh, did play some games <laughs> that don't require an internet connection. Played some Red Alert. Did you play that RTS back in the day, Red Alert? Hmm. It was one of the Command & Conquer games. I played some Command & Conquer, but I don't know if I played a Red Alert. Like, just... Amazon, Amazon had a deal on like all 21 games. It's <laughs> really ridiculous in the Command & Conquer and Red Alert franchises. It was on sale for Amazon for like 18 bucks last time, so I just picked it up. Yeah, that's one of your played top it. games of all time, right? I think it's up there. I don't know if it's on the top five, but maybe, maybe it was. But All I remember is, again, we always bring up James, James in this podcast. He would play it while we were in college, and he would drink while he was playing it. And so he would keep drinking until he finished a mission but then if he didn't if he lost he just keep going and keep trying keep and so he got progressively worse and worse because he kept (laughs) getting the worst thing is in that they play the same every time you click like a unit and go do something it plays the same sound yeah yeah. so it's like my chemical weapons (laughs) over and over and he would get angrier and angrier and just start screaming like just drunk like like, shake it baby yeah it was the worst (laughs) cha-ching Yeah, everything was <laughs> every annoying sound got played millions of times. Oh, yeah, that like game super and it's loud systems. Oh yeah, <laughs> back in the day, <laughs> super big speakers always. But that game still holds up if you don't mind like really bad acting in the cutscenes, which is just kind of like why it's good. It's got the live action cutscenes, right? Yeah, and then like the 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 CG cutscenes do not hold up very well. Of course not. <laughs> like, no. so, like tanks and stuff rolling. It's like oh Jesus. But yeah, it's still really fun. Gameplay still good. Still good. How far did you get? Playing on hard difficulty, made it to like the fifth mission. Started with Soviets, obviously. Yeah, of course. You're the Soviet guy. Yeah. So the game take. What is the idea? I forgot the, the premise. Like, is Albert Einstein goes back in time? <laughs> Although, all right, told you. <laughs> you had me at wow. <laughs> you had me that at starts Einstein. so serious. <laughs> uh, he goes, goes back, back in time. time. <laughs> he invents this time machine. Goes back in time. If someone's gonna invent a time machine, hey, he's, I guess that guy hits up Hitler in like 19 like 29 or something like that when yeah. he's like a kid. Yep. Outside <laughs> with like some paintings, and he's like, "Hell, Hitler!" He's like. Hello, like what's up? <laughs> Shakes his hand and like this crazy thing happens. Like apparently that's like um, he but, comes back. He's like, "Hey, did it work? Did you see Hillary?" He's like, "Time will tell. Sooner or later, time will tell." <laughs> and then what? But he said that like, he's out of the way. So I don't know if he necessarily killed him or whatever. Anyway, he killed so, little Hitler. Yeah. Oh, that's well, they, they didn't kill him, oh. But anyway, he, he doesn't. I don't like, remember any Nazi, of this. All that stuff. Okay. So then that allows the Soviet Union to take over. So uh-huh. now they're pushing through the east and all that kind of butterfly stuff. effect, right? Yeah. So okay. then you can play as like Stalin, awesome, awesome actor, by the way, whatever his name is. Oh, who plays him? Or the Allies, which are like you know the U.S. and all the <laughs> good guys. Yeah. Nice. But yeah, really good game. Still holds up. There's still some parts that are like hard. Yeah. You know, and I'm playing on the harder difficulty, but there's still some parts that are like. Yeah. Are, are RTSs? I mean, other than I guess. Uh, Warcraft, no, Starcraft 2. Are there other popular RTSs anymore? I mean, I know it was like a market. The Total War franchise is pretty popular. Yeah, those are too heavy for me. Yeah, they are. I played like Shogun 2 one yeah. time. I got it free from like a video card or something. What's cool is it's like fun. you can grab like hundreds of units and you just smack them into each other and you can see the animation. Oh, you yeah. can like zoom in real detail if your computer yeah. is good enough and like yeah. seal the balance. I never had a computer good enough. <laughs> just really slows down and choppy. Oh, uh, that's the only other one that I can think of. You made like me really play big. one, Rise of Nations, the other day. We were... Yeah, that was fun. So that was after Age of Empires came out. Yeah. Rise of Nations, same uh, developer and all that stuff. That game's fun, right? Em- em- Emblem Studios? I think they got shut down. Yeah, uh, maybe I don't know. <clears throat> Only RTSs I played were Warcraft and uh, the Halo one. 
Halo oh, Wars. Uh, the, Halo Wars is really good. They're making yeah, a sequel of that. Though. Yeah, which is kind of weird. I don't know. I loved me some Halo Wars. Yeah, no, it was a good time. I didn't play it. I, I mean, I, I played it like, uh, you know, in passing. I didn't actually like own the game. I think I borrowed it from a friend, but it just never. Well, if you want to play it, it's on backwards compatibility. I have the game if you want to borrow it. Oh, really? For the Xbox thing? Xbox How many games thing? do they have for the backwards uh, stuff? Oh, wow. They're, they're adding play? more like every week. I don't know. The, speaking of backwards compatibility, I don't understand why. You know, it's like a big selling point for a lot of these video game companies when they release a console and then people freak out if it's not there. And I'm like, really? Are you, you want to buy a new console to play your old games? Like, I just, I, I get it's a feature, but I don't see the benefit. Like, nice. it's cool, but well, I would never use it. They it more for like those staple games. Like, they advertise the Mass Effect series as being one of those games. Yeah, or, but they're just um, going to make an HD version. Just go buy that. And it's going to be, it's going to they won't, though. Yeah, but like, no, always, you don't always want, I don't like how they have to keep selling you something over and over again. Like, <laughs> the same I already game. bought it. I should be able to play it. It should be backwards compatible why can't if i have donkey kong country 3 i want to play it on all my systems yeah but you didn't make that problem with dvds the blu-rays or dvds i I do i hate that (laughs) yes i do (laughs) no but keep your dvd player so you can watch it i mean yeah but eventually like they don't make that stuff anymore well eventually this is all gonna go away when we buy everything digitally you know what i mean like that gets rid of that started to do and people didn't like i kind of wish that they bit the bullet you know, they got in trouble for it. I mean, they got all the bad press from... Because they, they basically, when they came out the Xbox um, yeah, One, but they was, said... People literally are saying, like, I'm not going to buy an Xbox because this is the dumbest thing ever. Of course, they are going to back check on that. Yeah, but when are, someone's going to have to make that jump. I mean, at some point, right? Well, yeah, it's just waiting for somebody else to do it. Because <laughs> <laughs> they try to do it before everyone else, be and the they got screwed. Yeah, yeah, exactly. All right, anything else? You're doing... Um, you, you went, no. You're <laughs> dip, dipping in the old school, right? You went and saw an old movie. You talked about it last oh, week. Oh, yes. My, oh, yeah, I talked about my sci-fi movies that I need to watch. I watched another one. Yes. On Sunday, um, last Sunday. Uh, 2001, A Space Odyssey. 